Welcome to Faith Walk, another edition presented by Church Street Church of Christ, Lewisburg, Tennessee. My name is Don Ledford, and it is a privilege and an honor to be with you. I hope this message finds you and your family doing well. Today, I want to look at the topic of God's characteristics. How do we describe him? What is he like? What are some of the things that that set God apart from other things? What makes him unique? And in order to do that, I want to use a, a comparison uh, by using the Kiplinger letter. Uh, perhaps you're familiar with that letter. I have subscribed to it for a number of years. It comes out each Friday, and they deal, deal with various and sundry topics in each issue. They, they divide them into topics and and uh, for example, let me let me give you how they write. They might be talking about higher education as they did in a recent issue. And in that, uh, that description of what is going to happen in higher education, they use snippets, short sentences to describe uh, the situation. For example, uh, some small colleges and universities will not make it. Uh, 10% increase in tuition cost, more online learning, and, and, and you get the idea. Uh, skipping to another topic, retail sales, uh, more ordering by e-commerce, sales will continue to increase. Uh, topic of manufacturing, a change in location of plants, more plants on U.S. soil. Uh, a move from just-in-time inventory. So you get the idea of, of how they write. Just very short uh, sentences, uh, again, snippets, if you will. So let's use that comparison or that method uh, in describing God. And these are some of the methods that I came up with that describe God, and then I'll share the Bible verse with you. And these are divided into what I'll call the top 10. Certainly there are other topics or other characteristics that could be used to describe God, but these are my top 10. Perhaps you will agree. God is infinite, Colossians 1 verse 17, and it is and he is before all things. In him, all things exist. God is immutable or never changes. Malachi 3, 6. I am the Lord. I do not change. God is self-sufficient. John 5, verse 26. The Father has life in himself. God is omnipotent. Psalms 33 and 6. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. And again, I call notation to the word Lord in all caps. God is omniscient, all-knowing. Isaiah 46 and 10 declares uh, the end from the beginning. God is omnipresent. He is everywhere. Psalms 139, verse 7. Where can I go from your spirit? God is wise, Romans 11, 33. Oh, the depth and the riches of wisdom and knowledge come from the Lord. God is faithful, 2 Timothy 2, verse 17. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. God is good, Psalms 34 and verse 8. Oh, taste and see, the Lord is good. And last but not least, God is just, Deuteronomy 32, verse 4. A God of faithfulness and without injustice. Well, again, I'm sure there are other characteristics in the Bible, and, and there are. There's no doubt about that. That describes God's nature. But again, this is my top 10. 
perhaps you agree, and perhaps you want to add to the list of, of those things that are important. But I think the thing that is uh, important to me and sticks out in my mind is that God never changes. God is always there. God is always faithful to us. God always loves us. And God always cares for our best interest. What about you? What about me? Do we recognize God for who he is and what he has done for us throughout our lives? <clears throat> Would you join me in prayer? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we do thank you that you are always there for us. We do thank, thank you, Father, that you are always faithful. Father, thank you again for all that you do for us. Thank you for all that you give us to enjoy throughout life. Thank you, God, for loving us in such a perfect way in that you gave your son, Jesus the Christ, for our sins. Father, please forgive us when we fail you. Please forgive us when we do not do as you have instructed and have guided us. Heavenly Father, we again thank you for your son, Jesus the Christ, and his sacrifice. And Father, again, we ask you to bless our nation, continue to heal our people. Thank you for the blessings that we enjoy every day as Americans. And thank you for those men and women who make that sacrifice that we might enjoy freedom, that we might have a standard of living second to none. Father, we give you the glory and the honor, and, the, and we offer this prayer in your Son's name, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Hope you have a great rest of the day, and may God bless you all.